If you are not watching You Bet Your Life right here on Fox, you are missing out. It is such a fun show, and we're welcoming back two friends of show. They've been in our show more than we have, Kel. I think Jay Leno and Kevin <laughs> Eubanks. Good morning. Good to be here. Good to see you. I like we're we're Amish now. We are friend of show. Oh, <laughs> I'm a friend of show, yes. yes you are. We, we are in Amish country, so we're you know, welcoming you. Welcoming you this you way. Guys, there the show, go. big hit. We love it. It's on my TV every afternoon. I love your, of course, you guys have great chemistry, but I love the guests. I love what you're doing, the jokes. You mix it up. How has it been so far, the run? Are you enjoying it? Well, it's been great. We got picked up for second season, so we're really excited about that. Uh, yeah, people seem to like this idea that there's no politics. We're not discussing issues. You can just. Uh, Get free and just have a few laughs. And you know, when you when you take politics out of the mix, it's amazing how well people get along. You know, the one thing we hear from people on the street when they stop to say where they like the show or not, they like the fact that all the contestants seem happy, you know, having fun. And you realize how much how much of the <laughs> is pressing. You know, it's just people in a horrible situation or a financial crisis or a medical crisis. Sometimes it's nice just to get away and, and, and see people smiling and laughing. You know? It really is. We try to do that here on our show as, as well. And where can you go without the politics? You can't go to Twitter. You can't go to social media. So we really appreciate what you're doing. Yeah, that's what makes it fun. And it's fun to see people who would not normally be, you know, one of my favorite couples. We had this African-American guy, about 6'5", 270, a big, strong guy. And he was teamed up with this 60-year-old white-haired lady, about 4 foot 11. <laughs> and every time I got a question right, he put his arm around her waist and pick her up like this. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, and awesome. They were hilarious. They were high fiving each other. And you go, where would these two meet other than on a show like this and have a good time? And it was really funny. I liked it when we had the uh, we had Santa Santa Claus came out. Yeah, we had a guy come. He was you Santa. Know. Looked like Santa had the yeah, beard. Yeah. But at night he was a stripper. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> <laughs> and the, the the contestant looked at him and thought she was gonna like freak out. And she was like. Oh, that's pretty nice. <laughs> I mean, imagine that's taking your kid fun. to see Santa, and then two days later you're at Thunder Down Under. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> that is awesome. You really, I have noticed, by the way, guys, I have noticed the diversity, which I love. You, you really are bringing people together who normally wouldn't uh, be in the same room. And also, you love the community because you're doing all these great contests to really help the community that can't maybe come to Los Angeles. You're running another joke contest? Well, we're running a joke contest. You know, this would have been Rodney Dangerfield's 100th birthday this year. Mm -hmm. And in honor of Rodney, we do this thing called a Rodney Run, where you just pick a topic and we write jokes about it. Uh, the topic this time is the economy. You know, the economy is so bad, uh, Barbie had to move out of her Malibu dream house into her Chevy Malibu. You know, those kinds oh, of stuff. Yeah. You just try to do them real quick and do them fast. And if people send us one and we think it's funny, Kevin and I will give them $1,000. And we've given away yeah, right. tens of thousands of dollars so far. If you go to YouBetYourLife.com, you know, how to send the jokes in. You get a lot of stuff from the website. We have a lot of interactive things there. And uh, you can be a contestant, send your jokes in. If it's really funny, <laughs> get a thousand bucks for it. But that's where you go right to the, uh, to the site. Yeah. So you're going to have 10 top winners for the thousand dollars. Yeah, and we'd love to get uh, contestants from Missouri and other parts of the country, other than L.A. You know, right. L.A. is a nice city, but most of the game shows tape here, so all the contestants live within 30 miles of the studio. So there's a certain jadedness from being <laughs> in L.A. When you bring people in from North Carolina, South Carolina, Missouri, Kansas City, oh, there's an excitement. They haven't been in L.A. before. We fly them in. We put them in a hotel. Uh, we're playing with drinks, whatever it takes. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I miss that part with the drinks. Put on the show. Well, uh, I, I try to keep Kev away from. If you like sausage, don't watch it being made, you know. But uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I protect Kev from that element. Hey guys, dude, is it true too that if you win one of them, that Jay, you'll actually call them and congratulate them? Like, you'll give them a call? Yeah, we'll call them and, tell, and thank them for the joke. And it was really funny because uh, for all the good jokes you get, you get a thousand. What? I didn't even get it. <laughs> I have to know, <laughs> are you guys going through the jokes or, I mean, are you two really looking at the jokes, the two of you? Oh, we do look at the jokes, yeah, yeah. Are I they? mean, people will filter out ones that make no, you know, if something makes no sense. And people will write like a long story. Well, I took a trip once right. and it's like four pages, you know. So, <laughs> those, but we, we, we look at the, at the top three or four hundred. Oh, wow. Right. So these are more one-liner kind of jokes, not... Uh, 
a whole. Yeah, just one line. You know, that's what I loved about Rodney. You know, it was the simplicity of the joke. One of my favorite jokes of Rodney's was uh, I went by a strip club. It said topless and bottomless. I went in. There was nobody there. I love that joke. <laughs> so simple, yeah. but so funny. Yeah. When you're, when you're reading a joke, the punchline makes it funny. But sometimes when you're live and somebody tells a joke and it's terrible, that's also funny. Funny, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Are we done? That's the joke? Yeah, that was it's so funny. You yeah. won't get $1,000 no, for that. No. <laughs> Funny. Now you pay us a thousand. Make it a <laughs> right. All right, guys. One more time. What's the website if people want to enter to win the thousand dollars for the best economy joke? YouBetYourLife.com. It's that simple. It's that simple. YouBetYourLife.com. They become a contestant. That's how you win the money. It's all right there. Don't think Kelly and I won't call you next time we're in LA. We might. Give us a call. Come, come on, by. Come you know, on. we've had a lot of people come by the studio from different Fox affiliates all across the country. So, yeah, we, we love it when you guys come by. So come by and say hello. I'm going to hold you to that. We I, will. <laughs> yeah, I've seen your show before, Jay. I've been at your, your show. In the audience. Uh, yeah, in the audience. And backstage. I you look familiar. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Guys, thank you thank so much. You. We love you. Bet your life right here on Fox. Have a great day. Yeah, Thanks so much. All right. Good to see you.